Hello everybody, how's it going? It's Simon here, hope you should all keep them out out there. I'm back today with another video and today we are back in Hamburg and we are in the new um, the new DLC that has come out for Romsey recently, um, the Man City Bus series and today we're going to be driving the Man Stat Bus A26 NL31315. It's the long bus that comes with the game, uh, with the DLC. The DLC comes with four buses, it comes with a bendy bus, it comes with a standard city bus, it comes with this bus, the the 15 the long bus 15 i mean it must be 15 meter bus and it comes with a suburban bus which is a bit smaller as far as i'm aware so today we are going to be in this one and then the next video i will do the bendy bus i just i've drove this bus um recently and i really like the bus and it drives so well so guys if none of you are, have bought it yet and you are unsure of what to do buy this add-on because these buses are a dream to drive they really are they're fast there's so many options you can change on them which we'll go into now in a moment and they just are so smooth and beautiful to drive they really are i can't fault them in any way whatsoever so um so we'll jump into the bus now and i we will kind of go through some of the options from there because i have a few little things that i want to say to you first you know so so we're in the bus now and basically it reminds me of a dl that's the only thing i can say you know a lot of options are customizable in this bus a lot of them you know so um we're going to go through some of them now so this is just a basic cab but firstly i just want to say a big thank you to steve our Citaro 2013 for the repaint of the original omsi bus company we now have the all four buses within the company in advanced omsi bus driver and by all means guys uh, if you just want to join by all means just drop me an email and we can um we can set it up so you can drive these buses and make some uh, virtual money too so um so the repaint is absolutely stunning um i forget the guy's name from fellow films forms that does them um but uh, without steve you wouldn't get anything as th the quality of this is um and i also need to thank kurtz 93 as well because he helps steve with the repaint uh to transfer because there's so many different cti file things in the repaint it's just madness so i kind of don't know anything about repaints and i don't want to know anything about repaints <laughs> Um, so yeah, so we're back into the bus now. As you can see, this is one of the views from the inside. Um, we'll sh I'll show you more about this in a moment. As you can see, the door opens and also the ticket machine moves. So maybe during this trip, we let the customers buy their own tickets. You know, so it's uh, as that's where Ed said. You know, so um, so yeah, maybe I'll let them buy their own tickets today. As you can see, they have the the adverts for the Manstad bus, which is pretty cool. I think it's a neat addition. Um, we're go I'm going to show you a lot of kind of different things we have now with inside the bus. So I'll just show you views. That's the views now in the end. You whip on the lights there, you know, and you can see there's lights on, <laughs> which is always wanted to see. Uh, you have a view of the door, you know. So I'm going to show you now. We're going to go into the cockpit. So when you turn on the electricity in the bus, come on, stop falling on me, keyboard. I need you here. So when you turn on the, the the electricity on the bus, it gives you a nice little kind of beeping noise. And up here, as you can see, we're customizing this at the moment. Um, we're in the middle of customizing this screen here. Basically, what this screen does for you is um, it lets you modify the bus in game. Um, so that'll be your timetable. This will be your list. Um, at the moment, it's all in German, but um, we're trying to fix that now well Milpop is uh, he has done a really amazing job trying to get this to English which to be honest it should have an English option anyway you know I'm a bit disappointed that it hasn't you know the English community for Omsi is really really good and the fact that they don't uh, appreciate it or let them have an option to put some things in English is a bit of a pain in the ass you know so if the people are listening to this that are German and are saying oh because the bus is made in Germany but I don't care OMSI has a really strong English community and I think the English community should be taught of when uh, new things are coming out for OMSI, whether it's German or anything or not, you know, so um, so anyway, I'll stop moaning and I'll get on with this. So we're going to concentrate on the, the model configuration here. So when you click in here, you have a whole lot of options um, in German again. So if you're English, you have no idea what half of this is, you know, so, um, so that's why Milpop is around for that stuff. It's going to take a few minutes to go through it, so... Um, I might upload this as a separate video before I get off. I don't know. I'll see. Um, 
So Rad Cap and Vienne is the, the wheels as far as I'm aware. So when we click into this up here, all this is editable at Barda, the inside space as far as I'm aware. You click into Rad Cap and Vaughan. See, Millpop has it in English. So you could have, basically it's the front wheel cover. So if we go outside the bus, as you can see, front wheels are just kind of normal. But then you click new and you check on the front, it has new hood caps. So um, they're a bit white, if I'm honest, you know, they don't suit this repaint very well. Um, so then red, rad cap and mitty is the middle wheel covers. So you can have old on that one. And again, they're just as white, but they're different, you know. And then uh, hinting is the back ones. So then you have the three wheels looking like that. I'll just change the middle one back to, to, to new because that way they'll all look the same. So it's not, they don't look the best on this repaint, but I guess on a white repaint, they look really nice, you know. So next then we have Kill Malage, which I think is air conditioning. I'm not 100% sure. Um, we, we had trouble translating a lot of it, so I'm not, I'm not really sure what that does. But again, if you're English, you're not going to know anyway. So because it's all in German, the rare brake light, I don't know what that does either, you know, but it translated to that. So um, I presume it puts something on the back here. Maybe it's just that them, them lights are on, is it? So let's see. Uh, off. No, see, I don't know. So I've no idea. Let's see. I'll just press my brakes here and see what happens. Maybe just when you press the brakes, um, I'll start the bus. I've no clue. So that's the brakes are on, brakes are off. So we go back up to rear brake light. On. I've no idea what's changing there, so maybe it's this one here, is it? This one on the top top of the window, let's see. Off. Yeah, it's the it's this with this light here. So as you can see just under here. I'm pressing the brake now, so when I go back inside and I turn rear brake light on comes on here so that's what that is Um, spillage is the mirror so as you can see over here the mirror is sticking out wide so if we go up here I think it's Spiegel uh, right in front right normal we click it's back here now so um, it's good that you can change that as well if you're close to curbs Um, Sitzel is the seats as far as I'm aware so if we go in we can see that the seats are just normal so we click type B and they're just normal again <laughs> type A maybe yeah you see that different seats now on the bus so the other ones looked a lot more comfy so I'll give them them um, and winter is service ticket machines on and off so you can turn them on and off if you want but uh, I leave it on because uh, the people be buying their own tickets today. Infrared break radio beacons. I think that's what that is. We asked Games Array about this so many times, and they hadn't a clue what we were talking about. So I I don't really know what it does to be honest. Um, unless it's these yokes on the front, is it? Uh, no, I don't know. Uh, so let's see what the beacons do. No idea. Having a breeze, lads. So no clue. Um, inner mirror. So as you can see, we have two mirrors there. If we turn them off, we'll only have one mirror there. You know. So we just put that back on. The man emblem on the front. So I presume that's here. So you can front. You can have it off, so it's not there, or is that right? Yeah, so you can see it's on there, and then you have the same on the back and uh, stuff like that. So you can take the man emblem off on the front and the sides and stuff like that. So again, which is again a nice feature. I don't think there is an interior. Oh, there is, yeah. So you can have it on. So I guess that would mean that the man emblem on the doors or something like that would be 
here, you know, so that would be gone if if need be, you know. Um, passenger handle straps, we have them off. So these are the yokes that go on the ceiling here, as you can see. I'll just change my view back to this one. They, they're usually hanging on the yellow bars. So if I go in here, where was the handle straps on? See, they're back now. See, they're right in front of us here. So, um, we haven't interior passenger display, standard BVG or DVB. I don't know what that means. Um, I presume it's this here, I guess. So let's see. No, that's them. Go back to the main menu. Uh, so let's say BVG. Yeah, see. So this thing here can change, and then you can kind of use the standard one if you need. So, so yeah. So mill pop is halfway through it. Um, as you can see, route number plates. You can have the side, the front, and side are off. Now this means that when you put in a route you'll have the numbers on the side of the bus saying like 109 or um, and on the front as far as I'm aware too so uh, so you can change that uh, audio announcements can be on when you're on them this one was the tough one automatic door buttons this one was only works when doors are in auto mode this is really tough to find out we it took me and Pop a good while yesterday to, to find this one out so that's what kind of reason why we're only halfway there then the windscreen wipers so windscreen wipers as you can see from the window here right it's one big window but if we change that to separate see they're there now in front of you it's two kind of panes of glass where one pane of glass looks much better like much better combined because then they'll wipe kind of like like that without the and they're not kind of in your way um rampy wheelchair ramp you can have it on or off so you can I just hang on let me take a machine in the way I don't think the wheelchair ramp be here I think it'd be outside I guess so there it is there yeah so if we open the middle doors there um, it must be automatic I guess is it I'm not sure now I'm not sure to be honest now about the wheelchair ramp if it's on maybe it's just there not sure now hang on I'll go into my interior view yeah, so I don't know how that that even works I don't know whether you just you press something here no clue Um. yeah no idea but then if I turn the wheelchair ramp off the wheelchair ramp be gone then I reckon yeah you see so there's no one in wheelchairs in Omsi, so we don't need it. Um, headlights, fog, or reflector. So we choose reflector. And we have headlights like there. We choose fog. We probably have something different, would we? No? Yeah, I think it's like that, isn't it? So headlights, reflector. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kind of showing you what they are, you know. So, um, mud guards, you can have them on. So, if you check on the bus, you should have mud guards at the back there, the back of the wheels. You want them off, you turn them off. See? Um, door warning sign is on. So, yeah, you know that. Uh, the matrix. Now, see, we're not this self as far as we got. So, as you can see, uh, you can kind of guess what this is, like it's just a matrix, so if we just say type in a new matrix for this, like so I'm just going to put in a, a rule, 109 to uh, answered off, for example, so that'll come up like that, so if you go back in to matrix, type uh, flip dot, it looks different, you know, it just kind of flip dots. <laughs> you know, same with um, matrix type LED. It's that matrix type LCD. But some of them kind of don't work. I don't know why that is. Some of the hot files are not showing what the, the matrix is displaying. So I don't know how to fix that. I'll just try again. Let's see. 
Oh, there we go, yeah. So, I like that one best, though. That one's really, really nice. Then we have the motor. I guess this is how fast you want the bus to go. Um, this is the door types of the bus. So, as you can see now, them stupid machine. So, you can see the door type. When I open this door, it just opens as normal. So, if I choose door type B, it'll just be it'll be the same door. Sorry, so I'll choose door type A. No, that's that. Door type A. And it's a different door. The yellow handles are gone. Opens out. The mirror goes out with it. See? How cool is that now? That's pretty awesome, right? So, door type B is the one you just seen that comes in. And door type C. I think it's the same as door type A. Or is it? Yeah, just as these down here, it's a bit slower, you know, so. Um, then there's door to the middle door and the, the last door. Wage, this wagon number, I I guess, I'm, I don't know what the rest of them are just yet, but that's the hot foils if you need them. Um, so yeah, so guys, that's just a pretty brief run of how the bus operates. They all operate the same, they all have the same... Um, options and modifications and stuff like that so when I have this stuff done when Millpop has it done we'll um, we will upload it to um, our company website or the Facebook page I'm not sure what Millpop wants to do and we'll kind of let people know on the Facebook page that there will be an English translation there uh, for you so um, so yeah mainly we'd probably just give it to the company guys for now just so they can use it when they need the buses and uh, can work off it from that, you know. So what I'll do now is I'll just upload this video because I just wanted to show you really how it works, and then I'll do a drive in it uh, in my next video. So hopefully this was handy for you guys. It worked, and uh, you can be kind of get a bit of help from it. If not, I don't know what else I can do. <laughs> so uh, so thanks guys for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye bye.